are we together i've taught you that if there are five wise people in your life you didn't count well there are actually six you being the sixth and respectfully speaking if there are five foolish people in your life you also didn't count well there are actually how many if there are five prosperous people in your life your closest circle of friends there are six prosperous people if there are five defeated mediocres flattering themselves competing with one another prepared or not you must know that you are also part of that competition he that works with the wise the bible says shall be wise himself it says but the companion of fools shall be destroyed so we derive our mindsets medical science teaches us that children at birth or humans are programmed in two ways number one is genetic programming as it comes from their parents but the second and more important programming is called environmental programming are we together when man fell the first question the lord asked him when he said where are you he said i heard your voice but i hid because i was naked next question who told you you have submitted your ears and your influence to another entity the failure that you have embraced in your life came as a result of a programming there are many people today listen i have seen so many people tongue talking people and sometimes anointed men and women of god and sometimes when they see me do the things that god does through me you know the, most of them will rejoice but believe me they do not know that there is an ancient stumbling block resident within their minds that makes them believe that it's impossible for god to use you that far hallelujah yeah. there are people today the limitation to your exploits in the spirit and even towards gaining mastery has nothing to do with a demonic attack all the spirits have been driven yet you are still failing you know why because there is a stumbling block there is something that has been programmed in your mind that you can't go this far but by this teaching in the name of jesus that stumbling block by the power that raised christ from the dead let that stumbling block depart from you now when i began my walk with god my life was full of visions and i submit to you some of them have seen them happen already some are still on the way happening and others are yet to come but when i saw some of these visions you can imagine at that level starting naive in spiritual things on many grounds and seeing god show me all of these things it was up to me now to believe god can you do this with me to the nations across the globe thank god for the mentorship of great men like dr miles munro who challenged me and made me know that it is possible i told you ambitiously i wrote a letter to several men of god when i was starting in nigeria across africa i took that step of faith i can't even remember what i wrote i just wrote and told all of them god called me what do they have to say how can you guide me and to my greatest shock i was called at the post office that there was one reply waiting for me and i went there and opened that letter and this was dr miles munro wrote it handwritten and was encouraging me and said listen as at then he said i have the largest church in bahamas by the grace of god and still i am relevant in the political space i am advisor to many presidents i have written books with many bestsellers never never limit yourself and i said this is it as simple as what i'm telling you is there are some of you seated here you have robbed us of the books that we should be reading you have robbed us of the help them please somebody is already falling under the anointing there i'm just sensing impartations oh this night we're on a journey this night too in the name of jesus books some of you businesses some of you even ministries listen never never downplay the extent of limitation that a poor or faulty mindset can bring to your destiny 
don't you think demons are the only things that stop you from going forward mindsets there are times demons don't need to do anything when they find a mindset as large as them there they will go back because the same thing will happen to you hallelujah and please look at me we who are privileged to be in this side of the continent and this nation subliminally we have been programmed as individuals and as a people to put limitations on our life our history itself naturally comes with propositions of limitations i'm not talking of being blindly ambitious i'm talking of being full of confidence knowing this that he that cometh from above is above all the lord began to bring several layers of deliverance to my life number one was deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 you hear me read it often that it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to observe and to do all his commandments which i commanded this day that the lord will set joshua selman on high above how many nations believe me when i saw all nations i believed it by the way this whole revelation was in one room all nations i believe when i started seeing visions i will never forget i was in port harcourt in 2007 attending to a dear lady then who was sick she would later pass on and you know part of the people that were staying with in port harcourt and i remember the teaching hospital there it was my turn to attend them you know as a man of god and i suddenly looked outside from that bed space and i was open to a vision i saw 37 flags and that was the international headquarters of koinonia i saw it there i wrote it down i said lord i believe it we are going there can i tell you this please look at me for some of you nothing good has come to your life because your mindset has commanded every good thing to return every good thing to the extent that if people favor you you don't believe it because your mindset has been so deconstructed it is against the laws of your life for some can something be that easy there are many of you here who intellectually speaking you are about the brightest and the finest yet you have fallen into this deception of satan that you are good for nothing apostle i think i'm good for nothing if i ask you why you say i don't speak very well uh, my english is this and that give me another reason i come from the village you will say my grandmother is in the village my grandfather is in the village i was born and bred in the village drinking well water what has that got to do with a glorious destiny can i tell you you can choose to be in egypt and yet be thinking canaan in fact you have to think canaan to go to canaan right from when i was in one room i stand by the god of heaven i believed everything god told me i'm not just speaking in terms of finances and all of that no i believed it that one day i will speak to kings and i will speak to nations i believed it jeremiah 1 5 say not that i am a child but to whoever i send you to the six you see jeremiah cried and said i cannot speak for i am a child verse 7 he rebuked him and he says say not that i am a child for thou shalt go to all that i shall send thee and whose and whatsoever i command thee thou shalt speak for someone god is speaking to you here that he's lifting you not just spiritually i hope you understand the concept of kingdom advance now when we teach like this we are not just talking pulpit for some of you god has told you he's taking you to un you and when you think about it you just laugh at yourself and say me i came to challenge that devil every mindset that will not let you rise ill speaking for men that kept putting you down i cross it right now in the name of jesus please sit down unfortunately sadly but unfortunately many of us probably came from families where it was a norm 
to speak words of discouragement I remember a particular person many years ago who cried he got an award and when he called his parents the parents said he should go and return it to the rightful owner he got an award true story return it to who because the father said no this this is my stupid and useless son it's impossible to have that award there's a gentleman i think he's here in koinonia um i i usually minimize talking about things like this because eventually it's it, we're talking to the whole globe but it's something that is very good the gentleman came and met me i think a, a month or two in school of ministry and he had designed a drone a very intelligent a drone system that will be such a blessing you know to several people and several parastatos across this nation and he had designed also something like the engine of a vehicle or something like that i looked at him and i held his hand i said my dear one listen to me no matter what happens let me give you two confessions one is going to be difficult to rise to the top go and read my listen to my message this grace called favor because in nigeria you need favor not just skill to rise number two i told him no matter what happens don't give up on your dreams how many times have you seen people who produce results that were far less than you know what you know you could do and yet you are forced to clap for them because their mindsets were more superior than yours not because they had a better idea because of the color of your skin because of your sociological context you can allow, allow life to reduce you to a point where many of us call ourselves grasshoppers they limited themselves god never called them grasshoppers satan never called them grasshoppers they called themselves grasshoppers it's a popular story many men of god have given this story of an eagle an eaglet now they call it huh that was around with birds chickens because the eagle didn't have her mother to help mentor her and let her know that look you are meant for the skies and the hills and he was around with the chickens all the time eating and feeding like the chickens and then one time he saw the mother eagle just flying and soaring around and noticed that look my 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 design is similar to that one flying not this one's there and that the eaglet just tried to take a step of faith and found out that she was flying sometimes let me tell you this one of the way god delivers you listen let me tell you how god delivers men from negative mindsets he would take you out of the environment that caused it for a long time it's, it's a system of quarantine he would take you away from the naysayers and the negative circles many of you right now if you want to do something good the moment you see your classmates or the moment you see people who used to know you they will laugh at you and say even you so god will take you to a place where nobody knows you you will now see the reason why he, he said kill everybody in jericho only one woman left rahab do you know why because her job there was a prostitute and god was about to change her life if there was one person who knew her history he would be the person who would stop her later on destroy everybody i'm about to give this woman a new beginning so that they don't see her and tell the future husband that this one you don't know who this one is that was her customer so sometimes hear me i'm speaking prophetically to some of you because there are some of you for god to help you he will have to take you out of that environment that negative environment where you keep receiving ill speakings and quarantine you in a spiritual environment like this where you keep hearing faith filled words six months under this kind of atmosphere and all that is left in your destiny is fire burns every mediocrity out of your life when the lord sent me to abuja i've told you at the risk of sounding proud forgive me if i do or you think i do it's to the glory of god when i was coming you know i've heard a lot of things about ministry in abuja and, and with all due respect and honor to all who serve the lord you know faithfully in this city when i came i looked at the place and i was praying and the holy spirit told me to go and buy the map 
and I, I asked them to get me the map of Abuja I looked at it and I looked at everything in the midst of my prayer now I say this respectfully not not to communicate pride the city became small literally it just became small you know like you are standing and you are looking at children playing and I said no come on this is how do you think God is going to send you to the nations with this mindset how do you arrive at another man's land and yet do what God says you should do dear businessman how do you think your conglomerate will go so far what guarantee do you have that people will be interested in you they limited God by saying they limited God by saying some of you from your background you have never seen sufficiency even if the school fees is 2,000 mama will bring one five the brother will bring this they will now beg you know not, you've not seen so when god speaks to you and say you it will get to a point where you will be given to nations it's difficult for you to conceive it but i'm here to speak to someone no matter what your mindset is saying now what god says about you must remain please subscribe to jehovah's space youtube channel god bless you abundantly. Amen.